Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to set up application insights on a Blazor WebAssembly. So the reason I'm doing this video is actually very simple to do. So like some might, act, I, I can see you already in the comments being like, oh, this doesn't need a video, but I created this support ticket with Microsoft almost a year ago. Actually, it might be a year for when I released this video and it still hasn't gotten any response from Microsoft. It has 72 likes, which is my most liked comment ever in the internet. So I was like, I, I have to do a video about this. So I'm just gonna go through how you can do it since Microsoft is not officially supporting it in Blazor WebAssembly for your, some weird reason. And if you can send this video to your uh, Microsoft representative, maybe we'll eventually get it. First of all, a quick TLDR of application insights. It helps you kind of like the telemetry of your application. Uh, one of my favorite things is just looking at the application map, see the call, see how long it takes. Helps you find problems before they become big problems. And in Blazor, it works very well in the server side but you also want to find problems in the client side. If you, your clients are running into an exception when loading or something, you want to know about it. And this is where this Nougat package comes in. It's created by Ivan Josipovic. Sorry for butchering your name if you ever see this video, but he pulled through, created this amazing Nougat package and this amazing tutorial. It kind of like guides you through how to do everything. And it's very simple. You just kind of like add this to your index and gives you all the different trackings it has. And yeah, so like, I'm gonna definitely link this in the description of the video. So you can just go and like, look at his instructions. They're really well. But if you prefer looking at the video, uh, let's just go through what you have to do real quick. And I actually did a little bit of changes to make it a little better, uh, in my opinion. So first thing I did, I installed the thing, but down here, and or you can do it through the Nugget packages. I just prefer the packet manager. And then after that, I just went ahead and added it. So the first thing I did is I copied and pasted a, his thing, the last one into the index.html. An important thing to note here, uh, because it definitely got me the first time, is it has all this like long stuff on here. And if you look in his repo, he says removed for uh, Riverty. So Make sure you're copying the full thing because if you copy this obviously it won't do anything so make sure you are copying the full thing i think the first one has it at all yeah the first one has it all and it also has it in one of his samples so you can get it from there and another thing i did is in the last one so in, if you see the first example he has the application instrumentation key there uh, it makes it hard to change from prod and everything when you're actually doing deployments in actions. So it, he also gives you the option to add it on startup. So I changed that to startup. So if now we go to startup where we initiate that. So you remove the app uh, instrumentation key from here. And then another thing you have to do is you add it in, to your usings in Blazor just so you don't have to add it to every page. And um, then in, in the program, you add the set instrumentation key. I actually changed it to get it from my configuration just so um, I do get section value and then I have like my app settings and all this code is gonna be on the GitHub. So you can just go to the GitHub. It's actually gonna have a commit that has all the changes that I did today. So you can just go click on that commit and you'll see all the changes and you can just copy it for your application. The only thing to note is this application doesn't have authentication and um, he does have some authentication stuff that you can do. So if you're, if you want to set kind of like the user and everything, he has here stuff you have to do in the authentication of Razor, but it's very straightforward. You're just adding this line and this line. Okay, so going back here. So the last thing I did, so already covered index, imports, program, very simple. The app settings that I created and added the app insights, that's so you can easily modify it in your GitHub actions. And then the last thing I did is I went into our fetch data and I did a try catch and then uh, created an error. So this is the way that he, this is a special variable that he created. And then I just tracked the exception with that error. So that's it. That's as simple as it is. Microsoft, talk to this guy, get app insights for Blazor. It's something that is needed. The people have uh, asked for it for a year. It's time to to have it natively. And Ivan, thank you so much for creating this. And for you, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.